大家好, I'm Nathan Rich, aka 火锅大王. Today, I'm gonna just get right into it. I wanna once and for all clearly spell out exactly why Taiwan isn't a country. And it's not because I feel like it isn't a country, it's because it literally isn't one. Taiwan, it's a beautiful island. But in the political context, when people say Taiwan, what they mean is the government called the Republic of China, or the ROC. That's the government in Taiwan and a few smaller islands in Southeast China. Traditionally Chinese, the island itself has a very interesting and unique history, including being partially or fully ruled by China, Japan, the Dutch Empire, the Spanish Empire, and even a short-lived Ming loyalist breakaway empire. But in the 1940s, that all changed when the losing side of the Chinese Civil War retreated to Taiwan Island and began a nearly 40-year oppressive martial law. The right-wing nationalist ROC government lost the war, but they never technically surrendered. And that's when the confusion began that still persists to this day. People I've spoken to in the US and Europe tend to be understandably quite lost on the subject, so I want to clear it up today. First of all, there's only one China. There's always been only one China, even when China was divided into warring states. That's because China is, traditionally speaking, not exactly the same as a country. It's always been more like a civilizational state, which for the sake of this conversation means it has always had regions, states, and provinces within it. And that's something that the PRC, or People's Republic of China, and the ROC, or Republic of China, both tend to agree on. Both of these governments claim the land area of China. The PRC generally claims all the current area of China with some disputes along borders. The ROC generally claims all the same land with different disputes along borders, plus all of Mongolia and parts of Russia. Didn't know they also want Mongolia? Hmm, why not? Anyway, the answer to if the ROC or Taiwan is a country actually starts with these fundamental pieces of information. One, as I mentioned, there is and always has been only one China. Two, in the modern context of what countries are, everyone agrees that China is a country. Three, there are multiple governments in China. For example, the Hong Kong local government and various other special administrative region governments. Four, there can only be one sole government of China. There cannot be two legitimate competing top-level governments. So the real question isn't about Taiwan or the Republic of China being a country. That's already been answered. It's not a country. The country is China. What people actually mean when they tell you Taiwan is a country is either that the ROC is the sole government of China or that the ROC and the land they control is a separate country than China. Those are the two claims which are actually quite different than each other. And usually the people who make those claims haven't thought enough about the subject to even realize how different these two claims are. But it doesn't really matter because neither of them are true. So again, one claim is that Taiwan's ROC is the government of China. It's not a different country, it literally is China. And the other claim is that Taiwan's ROC and the land it currently controls is a separate country than China. This would be called a breakaway state. Let's examine. First, we need to define what is meant by the word country. According to this definition, a country is any place or group of people that is being controlled, whether or not it's sovereign, even if it's part of another state. So Microsoft is a country, Dallas is a country inside another country called Dallas County, which is inside another country called the United States of America. Disneyland is a country. These are completely valid countries by that definition. But obviously no one uses such a vague definition in this context. No one means that when they use the word country. So what do people mean when they say country? A country is a sovereign state, but what does that mean? What is a state and what exactly is sovereignty? A state in this context is any political body. Hong Kong is a state in the general sense. Taiwan is a state in this general sense. So is China itself and California. But Microsoft isn't and neither is Disneyland. Sorry, a state is a political government of people and or land. It does not make any difference if it's legitimate, legal, temporary, or anything else like that. Being a state is not the same thing as being a country, not at all. A country is, again, a sovereign state. Sovereignty is a little more complicated. There are two unequal types of state sovereignty, de facto and de jure. De facto sovereignty means you have actual current governance of the people and or the land. You have the armies, the legal system in place, the passports, that kind of thing. De jure sovereignty means you have the official 
internationally recognized right to govern the people and or land. In order to be fully uncontroversially considered a country, you must have the majority of both of these things. But if there's a conflict, disagreement, or competing claims, the most important factor by far is de jure. De jure sovereignty is the legal right. It's so important that sometimes you only need de jure sovereignty to be considered a country. The majority of China is actually, or de facto, governed by the People's Republic of China. But like I mentioned, the ROC claims the same land. So we cannot use de facto governance to determine who is the actual government. Some regions within China do have a level of their own de facto sovereignty. For example, Hong Kong has its own passports, police, government, laws, currency, all that stuff. It has at least some level of de facto sovereignty. That doesn't change the fact that the one single officially internationally recognized country of China has one primary de facto government called the People's Republic of China. But again, just having that de facto governance doesn't make China a country, nor does it make the PRC the real government of China. There are many states in the world with de facto sovereignty, and yet we don't call them countries. We don't call them countries without de jure sovereignty. That's the legal, officially recognized right to sovereignty. And again, a state generally needs to have a majority of de facto and de jure sovereignty to be considered a country. If there's a dispute, then the one which has international recognition has the rights. But where does this de jure sovereignty come from? In the modern international world, starting a little after World War II, it comes from official international recognition. It doesn't come from non-recognition. It doesn't come from secret recognition. It doesn't come from unofficial recognition. It comes and only comes from the official recognition by other countries. There are two main theories on how a state can obtain sovereignty, only one of which is relevant to us, but I will still point out the other. The constitutive theory basically requires only that a state is officially recognized by a country as being a country. In the case of conflicting claims, the state which has the most other countries' official recognition would be the de jure sovereign state. The state which has the majority in China is, again, the People's Republic of China. So according to the constitutive theory, the ROC is not the government of China, the PRC is. And China itself is not the Republic of China, but is the People's Republic of China. The declarative theory is a bit different. It seeks only to define which are de facto states. It makes no attempt at describing de jure states, but I do have to mention it so I don't get a million comments about it. It asserts that any state which has a permanent population, a defined territory, a government, and capacity to enter into relations with other states is itself a state, a de facto state. Hong Kong is a de facto state by this theory. So is the ROC. But again, we've already established that the ROC is a state. The question is, is it a country? Does it have de jure sovereignty over itself or all of China? The answer is still no. The declarative theory is irrelevant because it has nothing to do with official legal recognition, de jure sovereignty. Since 1971, the vast, overwhelming majority of countries not only officially recognize the PRC as the government of China, they specifically recognize them as the only legitimate representatives of China. Just since I first came to China in 2012, six more countries dropped support for the ROC. Since I've been making videos in the last two years, three more countries dropped support for the ROC. So not only is the ROC officially recognized by almost no countries in the world, that number is rapidly declining. Meanwhile, the overwhelming recognition of the PRC as the one and only government of China continues to grow. So what have we learned? One, China is a single country. We know it's a country because the overwhelming majority of countries in the world recognize it as such. Two, the PRC has the vast majority of the entire world officially recognizing it as the only legitimate representative of China. And that number continues to grow. Three, Taiwan has the vast minority of the entire world officially recognizing it, and that number continues to dwindle. And we know that even if China were two countries, the island of Taiwan and all the regions controlled by the ROC would still be part of the first China. The ROC would need to find their own land somewhere else to build whatever state they want to build. So that demolishes the first claim that the ROC is the rightful government of China. That's debunked. But what about the second claim? That the ROC and the land it de facto controls is not part of China. That it's a totally different country altogether. Again, 
there needs to be official international recognition that the area isn't part of China. Even if we took the vast minority of countries who officially recognize the ROC as evidence that they are recognizing it as a separate country, which isn't necessarily the case, but even if we do assume that, it still would not be even close to enough to make it true. There just is literally no chance at all that the ROC will ever legally become a separate country. And again, it's not even becoming more likely. It's becoming less likely as the few remaining countries that do officially recognize the ROC are dropping off. But wait, I know what some people are thinking. All this talk about official recognition, it's a trick. Taiwan has unofficial recognition from dozens of countries. We've got you, Nathan. First of all, unofficial recognition is not what makes de jure sovereignty. Only official recognition does. But even if unofficial recognition did somehow magically equate to official recognition, and even if we combined all the unofficial and official recognition Taiwan has in the entire world, not only would it still not have even close to a majority in the world, it also wouldn't have even close to the PRC's official recognition. You get it? Even if I grant you the most lenient, wide open, charitable use of data possible and sway all the data in your favor, all of that combined still isn't even close to Taiwan being a country of its own, nor of the ROC being the government of China. It's just not even close, guys, no matter how some people might feel about it. This is why China fights back when any other country tries to sell arms to Taiwan. It absolutely is a violation of China's sovereignty, and they have every right to demand that it stops. If we care at all about international standards and international law, Taiwan isn't its own country, nor is the ROC the government of China. Taiwan is part of China, and there can only be one top-level government in China. There already is only one top-level government of China, the People's Republic of China. There are activists, separatists, secessionists, whoever. There are always people with differing opinions. But when you ignore everyone's feelings and just look at the facts of the case, it's actually surprisingly clear. Taiwan is not a country in any way. I have a couple more videos coming up about Taiwan, so stay tuned because there's a lot more evidence to provide. I'll leave some of you to wonder how you got so confused as to think that the situation was any different in the first place. For the rest of us, we'll continue to fight for facts. Even facts that hurt people's feelings, which is not my intention. Nevertheless, I'm sure I'll be receiving more hit pieces and threats from those who disagree with facts very soon. In the meantime, thanks everybody. See ya.